Hey everybody, Fan C here. So I just got back from seeing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the new animated movie. And in this movie, we are reintroduced to Miles Morales, voiced by Shamik Moore. And he reconnects with both Spider-Woman slash Gwen Stacy, voiced by Haley Steinfeld, and B Peter B. Parker, voiced by Jake Johnson. And those three have to join forces with a bunch of other spider people in the Spider-Verse to combat, combat a villain that is more dangerous than originally believed. So along with those that I already mentioned, you also have Oscar Isaac, who voices Miguel O'Hara, also otherwise known as um, Spider-Man 2099. You have Issa Rae, who voices Jessica Drew, who is another Spider-Woman. Um, you have Daniel Kaluuya, who voices Hobie, otherwise known as Spider-Punk. And then the villain Spot is voiced by Jason Schwartzman. So, so let's get into it. I like... I think at least one benefit for this movie compared to the last movie is that the it was a story that was like front and center. Actually, two different stories that kind of connect. But I felt like it the story took the um, lead here, whereas I felt like in uh, Into the Spider Verse, the animation and the um, music kind of push that story to the to the back. But this one is definitely a lot of a Gwen Stacy story as well and her backstory. As always, when you're going into all these different multiverses, um the animation looks great and especially some of the animation for some of the characters was really cool. I thought all the performances were really good. With it being a two and a half hour movie, I felt like at times, like the opening was good. And it took a little while again to get really revved up again. Like, you are introduced more to Gwen Stacy's backstory in the beginning. And then I felt like she was gone for a little bit, but then when you bring her back, I felt like that's when the storm really got going again. And that's kind of like my biggest a small issue, is that it just like, it's a cohesive story, but it takes a little while to get going. And also a little bit, but that's it for makes sense. There's a lot of characters thrown in. A lot of them you don't really need to pay attention to. It's just there's a lot of things to see in this, and it just, at times, it could be a lot to take in. But overall, I'm going to give it a an 8.5 out of 10. It's a really well done story, but there's still, still some issues. But overall, solid movie, and... In case anybody didn't know, this is part one of this. Part one, and then the uh, the next movie. I'm not going to give you what that title is. Is supposed to come out next year, and that's part two. So just know that going in. But that is my review for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.